This is a metal workshop, and here they make lots of different types of gates. A gate starts out like this, as long pieces of metal called steel. This is Adrian, and he's a blacksmith, which means he makes things using metal. And first, Adrian picks the pieces of steel he's going to use, and then the pieces need to be cut so they're the right size. Workshops and tools can be very dangerous, so you should never go near them without a grown-up. To cut the steel, Adrian is using a big machine called a bandsaw. And can you see the really sharp teeth here? It's these teeth that will cut through the metal. But what do you think the bandsaw looks like? I think it looks like the wide open mouth of a crocodile. As the blade cuts through the steel, it gets quite hot. This is because of something called friction, which happens when two surfaces are rubbed together. It's a bit like rubbing your hands together. Give it a go. Can you feel them getting warmer? When the blade cuts against the metal, the friction makes the blade hot. So there's some water being poured over the blade to cool it down. For our gate, Adrian cuts four metal bars for the frame and seven rods for the middle. Next, he needs to put holes into the steel, ready for the hinges. For this, he's using a punching machine. Did you hear that loud clunking sound? <laughs> it's like a giant paper hole punch, only this one is much more powerful. Our gate is going to have a curved top, but steel is strong. So we're going to need a very strong tool to bend it with. It's called a ring roller. Now, he's turning a screw, and that puts pressure on the metal. Next, he's turning a lever, and that moves the straight piece of metal backwards and forwards. And slowly, the metal starts to bend. Looks like a big smile, doesn't it? Our gate now has a curved top and some holes for the bolts. It's really starting to look like a gate, isn't it? But here comes the exciting bit, fixing everything together. And to stick all the bits of steel together, Adrian is going to use this welding machine. And it works by heating up small pieces of wire till they're so hot that they melt and act a little bit like glue. Welding creates lots of bright sparks, so we have to wear a welding coat to protect our clothes and a mask. To protect our eyes. Wow, did you see all of the sparks? They looked like little fireworks, didn't they? But those sparks are really, really hot. But to show you just how hot the steel gets, I've got my special camera here. And this is a thermal camera. Now, cold things appear blue, but warm and hot things look yellow or red. But very, very hot things, they look white. So what color do you think the sparks are going to be? Let's find out. Wow! Look at that! Where Adrian has been welding, the gate is red and bright white, but everything else is blue. That's because where the steel has been heated, it's much, much hotter. Adrian is creating a swirly pattern for the gate using a set of scrolling tools. These can bend steel into different shapes. I think it looks a bit like a snail. All that's left to do is weld the swirls into position and fix 
eyes on the bolts. Ta-da! And here we have our finished gate. All that's left to do is hang this on some hinges and it'll be ready to get used in someone's garden. <laughs>